Well, today marks the fifth week of Bradley Manning's court martial here in Fort Meade, Maryland. Today, the prosecution called their last witness to the stand. Before that, we heard written testimony from Commander Yusuf Abul Anin. He is an expert on Islamic militants and considered an expert on Al Qaeda. Now, he testified that Al Qaeda uses the internet to research potential targets and to gather intelligence. He also said that Al Qaeda uses websites that were, quote, sympathetic to its goals. We also heard what's called stipulations of fact. We've heard these types of stipulations throughout the trial. Now, these are established facts agreed upon by both the prosecution and the defense. The first stipulation was in regards to Adam Gadon. He was an American that eventually converted to Islam and became an operative for Al Qaeda as a translator and cultural interpreter for Osama bin Laden. According to the facts cited today, Gadon was involved in a video that served as a propaganda and recruitment tool for Al Qaeda. Parts of the video he used were obtained on the anti secrecy website WikiLeaks, specifically of an Apache helicopter airstrike infamously dubbed Collateral Murder. Also brought up as stipulation of fact today, found in Osama bin Laden's compound in Pakistan after the U.S. raid, Afghanistan war logs that were released by WikiLeaks. Now, all of this relates to that aiding the enemy charge, the most serious charge that Manning faces. The prosecution has been trying to prove that Manning and WikiLeaks co-founder Julian Assange worked together to get U.S. secrets on the Internet, secrets that were then obtained and used by the enemy to harm the United States, according to the prosecution. Manning says he leaked secrets in order to reveal the truth about U.S. wars abroad and in no way intended, uh, intended to aid the enemy. The prosecution is expected to call their last witness to the stand today. That last witness is Daniel Lewis. He is a defense counterterrorism expert. During cross-examination, the defense tried to discredit this witness. Some of his testimony today was done in a closed session. Now, as this trial progresses, the big question is, has the prosecution presented enough evidence to prove the most serious charges of espionage and aiding the enemy? Now, these are charges that, if convicted, carry a life sentence without parole. Now, I've spoken to many of Manning supporters here that see him as a hero for shedding a light on the government's dark secrets. Important to note that since the trial is focused on classified information, some of the trial is done in a closed session where the media and the public are not authorized to hear what is going on. Here in Fort Meade, Maryland, Liz Wall, RT.